Welcome to Blagdon Lake at the unearthly hour of five o'clock in the morning. My name's John Horsey. I'm a professional guide at Chew Valley and Blagdon Lakes. Normally I would be fishing from a boat with clients, but a lot of the time it is good to get out onto the bank. You can fish the bank at very early in the morning, whereas from the boats you can't usually start till about 10 o'clock. The advantage of starting so early in the morning is that you can take the advantage of the early morning rise. This morning when we came at first light, you could see fish moving all across the bay here. This is Pegs Bay at Blagdon Lake. Across from me we've got Rugmore Point. The sort of areas that we look for from fishing from the bank are points and peninsulas, anywhere that might hold fish, anywhere that you can get out and fish either to the left, downwind or to the right. What I'll be doing today is showing you all the different methods of fishing from the bank, either fishing with a crosswind as we've got at the moment, one of the important things when you're fishing from the bank is to try and fish with a crosswind. You don't really want the wind to be blowing from your back, although it does help casting. You don't want the wind to be blowing straight in at you because it's difficult to cast and the water gets very dirty. But you want a crosswind from right to left or left to right, just as we've got in this bay, because this is perfect. There's been plenty of fish moving. It's quietened down a little bit, but there's still the odd fish moving. So what I think I'll do is I'll just come ashore and go through the normal setup for fishing from the bank. The main thing about bank fishing is travelling light. We just go through what I use for bank fishing. I like to have everything on me, so I wear a waistcoat and all my fly boxes, all my bits and pieces, my priest, all my leader material are all in the pockets of my waistcoat. Um, obviously you need a pair of waders. These are neoprene waders. They're very light and they're very comfortable as well. A hat is very important and sunglasses are very important. I've got a couple of pairs here. One, these are both ocean waves glasses. These are the kingfish and these aren't mirrored. And these are the Catalina and these are mirrored. So the mirrored ones are supposed to cut out more glare, and I think they probably do, so it's really up to personal choice. So I'll just put these around my neck. It's important to have a lanyard as well. I've lost sunglasses in the past where they've either flipped off of my neck while I've been off my ears while I've been casting, or they've just dropped into the water. 